Round signs indicate A. No passing zones. B. School zones. C. Upcoming railroad crossings. D. Hospitals. C. Upcoming railroad crossings. Round signs warn drivers of an upcoming railroad crossing area. Drivers should use extra caution when approaching a railroad crossing. When meeting a car with blinding headlights, you should A. Use your bright lights until the other vehicle dims theirs. B. Flash your lights on and off to warn the other driver. C. Dim your lights and then speed up to pass quickly. D. Look toward the right side of the road. D. Look toward the right side of the road. If a vehicle comes toward you with its high beams on, look away from the headlights and toward the right side of the road until the car has passed. This will keep you from being blinded. What are the colors of warning signs indicating upcoming hazards? A. Black letters or symbols on a white background. B. Black letters or symbols on a yellow background. C. White letters or symbols on a blue background. D. White letters or symbols on a green background. B. Black letters or symbols on a yellow background. Warning signs that indicate approaching hazards are usually yellow with black lettering or symbols. Warning signs in work zones are orange with black lettering or symbols. Which of the following lights indicates that you should slow down and proceed with caution at an intersection? A. A flashing yellow light. B. A flashing red light. C. A solid yellow light. D. A solid red light. A. A flashing yellow light. A flashing yellow traffic light at an intersection indicates that drivers must slow down, proceed with caution, and be prepared to stop. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. While backing, you should A. Rely only on your mirrors. B. Flash your lights. C. Open your door to see if it is safe to proceed. D. Turn your head and look through the rear window. Anything that requires you to fill in the blank could cause you to crash. A. Take your eyes off the road. B. Take your hands off the wheel. C. Take your attention away from the task of driving. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Anything that causes you to take your attention away from driving, take your eyes off the road, and or take your hands off the wheel as a distraction. A red arrow displayed on a traffic light means that A. A driver must proceed slowly through the intersection. B. A driver must stop and then proceed when the way is clear. C. A driver must stop and then proceed when the signal changes to a green light or green arrow. D. A driver may turn in the direction that the red arrow is pointing. C. A driver must stop and then proceed when the signal changes to a green light or green arrow. Unless a posted sign indicates otherwise, a traffic signal displaying a red arrow means that drivers must come to a full stop and remain stopped until a green light or green arrow appears. If another driver cuts you off in traffic, you should A. Pull next to the driver and yell at them. B. Let it go. C. Flash your high beams at the driver. D. Get back at the other driver by cutting them off. B. Let it go.
To avoid the dangers of road rage, you should never take it personally if another driver cuts you off in traffic. Just let it go and continue driving safely. Before changing lanes on a multi-lane highway, you should a. Sound your horn. b. Turn on your headlights. c. Reduce your speed. d. Check your mirrors and blind spots. d. Check your mirrors and blind spots. Before changing lanes, you should look in your rear view and side mirrors to make sure no one is trying to pass you. You should also look over your shoulder to make sure that no one is in your blind spot. Defensive driving is a. Identifying dangerous driving situations and taking action to avoid accidents. b. Defending yourself against poor drivers by getting ahead of them in traffic. c. Following the vehicle ahead of you at a close distance. D. Quickly changing lanes and shifting in and out of traffic congestion. A. Identifying dangerous driving situations and taking action to avoid accidents. You drive defensively when you identify dangerous driving situations and take action before an accident occurs. Defensive driving helps prevent conflicts with aggressive, offensive, discourteous, careless, inattentive, impulsive, ignorant, or intoxicated drivers or pedestrians. Fog can greatly reduce the visibility of other vehicles, pedestrians, and traffic signals. When driving in fog, you should a. Drive cautiously and reduce your speed. B. Not use your high beam headlights. C. Use low beam headlights to better illuminate the road and objects. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Fog can greatly reduce your ability to see other vehicles, pedestrians, and traffic signals. When driving in fog, drive cautiously and at reduced speeds. Do not use high beam headlights. Low beams better illuminate the road and objects ahead in foggy conditions. This sign means A. Pedestrians only. B. Intersection ahead. C. Hiking trails ahead. D. School crossing ahead. D. School crossing ahead. This sign indicates that a school crossing is ahead. From the center lane, which maneuvers can you perform? A. You may make left turns. B. You may make U-turns. C. You may pass slow-moving traffic. D. All of the above. A. You may make left turns. This sign indicates where a lane is reserved for the exclusive use of left turning vehicles from either direction. Such a lane may not be used for passing or for through traffic. You may turn right on a solid red traffic light? A. When there is a sign prohibiting turning right on red. B. Before pedestrians have crossed any intersecting crosswalks. C. Before coming to a complete stop. D. After coming to a complete stop and yielding to pedestrians and vehicles in the intersection. D. After coming to a complete stop and yielding to pedestrians and vehicles in the intersection. You may turn right on a solid red light after coming to a full stop. You may only turn if it is safe to do so and if there is no sign prohibiting the turn. Yield to cross traffic and pedestrians. A person walking with a white cane or guide dog is likely to be a. a deaf person. b. a person involved with a traffic study. c. a blind person. d. none of the above. c. a blind person.
Drivers must always yield the right of way to a pedestrian when the pedestrian is a blind person who is using a white cane or guide dog. You may honk your horn when you a have to stop quickly, b are passing another car, c have lost control of your car, d are passing a bicyclist. C. Have lost control of your car. One situation where it is appropriate to use your horn is if you lose control of your vehicle. In this case, sound your horn to alert other drivers. What do speed limit signs indicate? A. Potential driving speeds for the area. B. The maximum or minimum speed that is legally allowed to be driven. C. The speed drivers should drive in heavy traffic. D. The speed drivers should drive under poor conditions. B. The maximum or minimum speed that is legally allowed to be driven. Speed limit signs indicate the maximum or minimum safe speed that is allowed to be driven on a roadway. The maximum limits are for ideal conditions and you must reduce your speed when conditions require it. On slippery roads, you should A. Slow down. B. Drive more quickly. C. Drive the speed limit, with caution. D. Not drive more quickly than 20 miles per hour. A. Slow down. You should slow down at the first sign of rain, snow, or sleet, all of which can create slippery road conditions. When conditions on the road are less than ideal, safety may require that you drive more slowly than the posted speed limit. To help prevent crashes, you should A. Communicate with other road users. B. Ignore other drivers on the road. C. Drive only on side streets and back roads. D. Avoid driving during rush hour. A. Communicate with other road users. Crashes often happen because one driver does something that other road users are not expecting. You should communicate with other motorists bicyclists, and pedestrians by doing things like signaling when slowing down, stopping, or changing direction. Use your emergency signals or horn when appropriate. You may drive around or under a gate that is being lowered or raised at a railroad crossing. A. As long as an approaching train is not too close. B. If your vehicle can do so without damaging the gate. C. If you first look carefully in both directions. D. Under no circumstances. D. Under no circumstances. Flashing red lights, lowered crossing gates, and or bells at a railroad crossing mean that you must come to a complete stop. You must not go across the tracks until the lights and bells have stopped and the crossing gates are completely up. Do not drive around or under a gate that is moving up or down. A red flashing traffic light has the same meaning as a A. Solid red light. B. Stop sign. C. Yield sign. D. Caution sign. B. Stop sign. A red flashing traffic signal has the same meaning as a stop sign. When approaching a red flashing signal, come to a complete stop and proceed when it is safe to do so. A stop sign may sometimes also be posted where this signal is located. Regulatory signs are usually fill in the blank and should always be obeyed. A. White. B. Blue. C. Green. D. Orange. A. White. Regulatory signs regulate the movement of traffic. 
They are usually white with black markings and must always be obeyed by motorists. A solid white line on the right edge of the highway slants in to the left. That shows that A. There is an intersection just ahead. B. You are approaching a construction area. C. You will be required to turn left just ahead. D. The road will get narrower. D. The road will get narrower. A solid line along the side of the road indicates where its edge is, marking the boundary between the travel lane and the shoulder. If the edge line angles toward the center of the road, this means that the road is narrower ahead. Downward facing triangular signs. A. Indicate school zones. B. Tell drivers to yield. C. Indicate construction zones. D. Indicate railroad crossings. B. Tell drivers to yield. Downward facing triangular signs usually indicate that drivers should yield. Once the road is clear of traffic or pedestrians and it is safe to do so, Drivers may proceed. Do not pass. A. On a hill or curve. B. When school bus lights are flashing. C. When approaching an intersection. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You should never pass if there is an oncoming vehicle in the passing lane, if your view is blocked by a curve or hill, at an intersection, before or on a railroad crossing or bridge, or in any other no-passing zone. Unless you are on the opposite side of a multi-lane roadway with a median or shared center turn lane, you may not pass a stopped school bus that has its flashing red lights activated. <laughs>